Hello Aquarius, welcome back to your monthly zodiac readings. I'm sorry I'm a bit late. Please forgive me. I know this is like goes way beyond how late I've been, you know, in previous months or what have you. I've just been through a lot this month and I know that I've stated it in some of my videos. So forgive me, I'll add some extra cards just because I have been so late with the air signs. Yow. Air signs, the major arcana that comes out to greet you this month is the moon. The moon speaks of fears. The moon speaks of psychic connections to others while you are dreaming. Your dreams will become very important as we move through this month and into February. Okay, which is your month, Aquarius. Be aware that you have fears that are unfounded. You're moving forward in life when it comes to your romantic life or other areas of your life that lead you into either meeting new people if you're single or your existing relationship will move up into other, you know, deeper connections. If you're just dating, you'll start, um, maybe you'll move in together, things like that. But you're afraid. You're afraid of your romantic life. You're afraid of perhaps even connections with others. So maybe you need to look within as to how much love you actually show other people around you. If you're single and you think you want a relationship, but how open are you to receiving that energy? That you may be afraid in some sense because the moon represents fears. It represents moving forward in life without seeing the end game. So that scares you. You don't like really going forward without knowing what's happening. So relax, Aquarius, because everything is fine. The bottom of the deck, you're getting the full card. The full card tells me that there's going to be new beginnings for you where romance is concerned. You're going to say, you know what? I'm going to forget the fears. And I'm going to go ahead and just move forward with faith. Faith that no matter what, it's a lesson that I'm learning or a blessing. And I'm not going to be afraid anymore. So Aquarius, you're going to start moving forward in life without being so afraid of new relationships, whether they're going to hurt you or not hurt you, whether it's going to work out or not work out. I know that we run a lot of scenarios in our mind when we become attracted to someone or when we think, you know, hey, this relationship is moving up. Um, how do I handle it? But don't worry, because no matter what, your guides are asking you to take a leap of faith where romance is concerned, whether you know how it's going to end or not, whether there's a situation that you already see that can be difficult, but you're going to move through it. So don't, don't be afraid, because that leap that you're going to take is going to turn out to be something wonderful. Here you are representing yourself, being very logical about the steps that you are taking forward in your relationship, Aquarius, but don't worry, okay, because your logic is still going to lead you in the right direction, okay? You're going to cut people out of your life and no longer serve a purpose in your life so that you can move forward in your relationships or looking for romance in a very logical and methodical way, okay, so that you're not afraid. But you have a very good sense of humor and you're very intelligent in the way that you analyze things. So don't be afraid, Aquarius, okay? Keep moving forward. Some of you may be signing some paperwork. Some of you may be having arguments if you are in an existing relationship because you're getting the five of swords. Again, you're in your head a lot, Aquarius, and you need to get out of there. You need to start feeling more. You know, try to connect your thoughts with your emotions. That way there's, you know, a happy medium. You're more balanced when it comes to romance or when it comes to relationships with other people. Because remember, everything is a reflection. If you're not in a relationship, then the people that are around you, your family members, friends, co-workers, are the ones that are stepping in as a romantic partner and they're reflecting back to you the things that perhaps you need to work on. If you are in a relationship with someone, then those reflections are what you need to work on and you need to see them as such. These are teachers. They're, everyone around you is a teacher. They're teaching you how to evolve your spirit, how to grow spiritually, karmically, how to release some of that old baggage that we bring around from life to life because we don't know how to do it otherwise. There's going to be arguments with others and you're going to feel quite the winner. You're going to de-arm them somehow or perhaps you'll say things that will hurt the people that are there 
whether they're in a relationship with you or your friends or your, your families. Try not to be um, so pushy this week or try to watch what you say to other people, okay? Because you may hurt them and then eventually that's going to hurt you. So if you are in a relationship, you may say things that will hurt your partner this week. So be careful. I know that we're all under a lot of stress because the energies of this year are very powerful and they're they're propelling us forward in life, in all areas of life. So just try to be calm. Try to stay out of your head a little bit. Feel more, especially when you're going to speak to others. Make sure that you check yourself as to what you say prior to saying it. So that you don't end up hurting some of the people that are there for you. Some of the ones that support you on a daily basis. Whether it's a relationship or your friends, your family, people at work. Watch yourself because it could happen. There may also be paperwork that you need to sign. Be sure that you read through. Don't let it, don't let it um, make you afraid. Because you're moving through life carefully and methodically. The way that you should. In the end, you see you're going to be celebrating. So you're going to be asked out perhaps by friends, co-workers. Your relationship is going to move to another level. If you are in a relationship, you're going to be very festive with your partner. If you're single, you may be invited out. And perhaps that's how you may meet someone new. So don't say no if some of your friends, co-workers, or people that you know invite you to go out. And my cards went flying across the room but the one that did flip romantic feelings for some of you you've met someone new and you feel a little something for them your feelings are real and worth exploring so continue on down that path don't try to control things and see where it leads you for those of you that are in a relationship with someone you can become very close to your partner this week if you watch what you say try to come from the heart or this month sorry and try to mesh with your partner. Go out with them a little bit. Experiment. Have fun. Do things that are not ordinary for your relationship in this month. Let's see what you got. Coming into power. I step into my power boldly and confidently. You're going to be looked at by your significant other as someone that's really in a spotlight. They're going to start looking at you this month and go, wow, you know, I really love my partner. They're so powerful. They're really, a, they're a leader in their own life. And, and I'm just so happy to be with them. For those of you that are single, perhaps you're looking at someone and there's a lot of competition. You're going to be single out. There's something about you that that new person that you're trying to attract or that you kind of like is going to look at you and go, wow, that person's really shining. So you're stepping into your power this month, Aquarius. No fears, okay? No worries. Trust. Look, you have a strong connection to your soul's loving voice and have faith in your intuition that it's guiding you down the right path. Continue with your trust. Make sure that it's strong as you move forward, as you move through the fears. Pay attention to your dreams because for those of you that are single, your soulmate may be talking to you and you need to listen for that voice because it'll be there. It'll, it'll have a message that's coming to you that you need to pay attention to. Demonstrate love. Find out what is important to the people you love and act on it. The more you open up to love, the more you demonstrate love, the more love you're going to receive from everyone around you and from your significant other or from that new soulmate that's coming into your life. Make sure you ask for a divine life partner and not a teacher because teachers, they, you know, they're there to teach us lessons or help us learn lessons. But at this point, we would rather have someone that's a divine life partner that you're going to be able to work with, that you're going to move forward with in a loving embrace. Thank you, Aquarius. I do love you. I appreciate your patience. Share my videos. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Um, don't give me a thumbs down because I've been late. Because, <laughs> boy, have I been through some stuff. Tough stuff. And that's why I'm so late. So please forgive me. And um, if you'd like a private reading... Check the links below. Write to me at risushealingarts11 at gmail.com and we'll make an appointment for a reading. Love you guys. Bye for now.